Nice. Now, I'm not a big fan of geometric construction. So again, I'll typically just show you a sketch of what you're supposed to have. It says, using a ruler, pencil, a pair of compass, construct a triangle such that AB is 8 cm, angle BAC is 30, AC is 10. So first thing, draw your line AB, and AB is 8 cm. Again, I'm just showing you a rough sketch. It's supposed to be 8 cm. All right, so you draw your line AB and you make it eight centimeter. This is what it's supposed to have. All right. I'm just showing you a guide of what you're supposed to have. You should know what to do for geometric construction, how to swing your arc and how to open your compasses and do all of those crazy things. Next thing is that it want BAC to be 30. So when you're swinging your arc, you really want the angle here to be 30. The angle at A should be 30. All right, so when you swing up your arc and you do your stuff, all right, when you swing your arc like this and you swing your arc like this, all right, that angle should be 30. All right, so that means when you draw it now, your line looking something like this and you extend up your line. All right, that should be 30. This angle, this angle should be 30 degrees. This angle should be 30. All right, that angle should be 30. All right, that should be 30. And then now, of course, you need to draw your line and extend your line. So this line, you have to extend it and extend it and make sure that this line is 10 centimeters. So when you extend it, it's supposed to be 10 centimeters. Remember, this is just a rough sketch. You need to make sure that the length from A to C is 10 centimeter. So don't stop IRSA and say, oh, IRSA is C. No, you continue to extend it and make sure that line is 10 centimeter from A to C. And then of course, you can go further and connect C to B, all right? I don't know if it should be a right angle triangle. This is what it's coming out to be. Maybe it's a right angle triangle. My speculation is it is. So this is what we're supposed to end up with, a triangle looking like this, all right? Make sure you swing your arts and do all of your crazy stuff. Nice. That's what you should have. Now back to the real math part of the paper. I've never been a fan of geometric construction. All right, and now it says, state the coordinates of Q. So it says the diagram give us a triangle OPQ. Or looking at our graph and it says state the coordinates of Q. This is Q right here, all right? This is Q. So the X coordinate of Q is four, X coordinate of Q is four and the Y coordinate of Q is one. This is one. So Q is the point four one. Just to write that down. Then it says the line PQ, the line PQ is mapped to P prime Q prime by an enlargement center O and a scale factor three. And the diagram above draw the line P prime Q prime. So PQ, the line PQ is marked by an enlargement with a scale factor of three. An enlargement with a scale factor of three about the origin. All right, so if I were to multiply the points P by three, I'm getting six, six. Multiplying this by three, I'm getting six, six. Six, six is here. So that would be P prime. Q prime, I multiply four, one by three, and I'm getting four times three is 12. 12 times one is three, so I'm getting 12, three. 
So this would be Q prime and this would be P prime. All right. All you do to get Q prime and P prime, multiply it by three. All right. And you always have to remember that you draw your O, not the arrow one. You always remember to draw your line connecting the two. The line connecting P prime, Q prime. All right, just to check to ensure that I didn't do anything incorrectly, I'm going to draw and see, yes. Now my enlargement is correct, all right? Remember that the enlargement, they need, they, they, yeah, that's fine. This is correct, all right? Nice. So my enlargement is right. I was just checking to make sure that the center of enlargement is origin. And both P and P prime supposed to pass through the center. So I was just extending the line to check that. This is P prime and that is Q prime. Then it says the triangle OPQ undergoes a reflection in the line Y equals zero. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the triangle. In drawing the triangle, let me just change the color to blue. Oh, not, 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 not P prime, the triangle OPQ. Sorry, my apologies. The triangle OPQ. It says now, the triangle OPQ un undergoes a reflection in the line Y equals zero. Now, the line Y equals zero is the X axis. So they're telling you that it undergoes a reflection in the X axis. And they're telling us that it undergoes a reflection in the X axis to produce the image O double prime, P double prime, Q double prime. On the diagram, draw a triangle, O double prime, P double prime, Q double prime. Now, if it reflected in the x-axis, then P gonna come down to here. This is then gonna be P right here. We reflect it in the zero, zero reflected is always zero, zero. And then Q being here, gonna go below the x-axis to here, all right? That is what we have. So that's to draw the triangle now. This is from O to P. Then from P to Q. Or Q prime prime. Then from Q prime prime to the origin. So this is it. You can see it. It looks like a reflection now, don't it? Yeah, man. Yes, yes. we nice and we're set. So this is your P prime prime. And this is your Q prime prime. We're nice and we're set, man. Yes, yes. We're having fun. And so that's that. That takes care of this question. Soft. They weren't even asking us nothing special. They just want us to draw a line P prime, Q prime. They just want to reflect it in the x axis. They're not asking for anything special in this question. 